Today we're talking about perimeter. Now, here are a few shapes. And we're going to look at the perimeter. But what is this thing called perimeter? Well, when we're talking about the perimeter, we're looking at the measurement where we calculate the outside length of the shape. So in the, in the case of the circle, I'm calculating, I'm adding up all of these sides, whatever those measurements are. With my rectangle, I'm adding up the measurements of all the sides. I am adding those sides. Okay, take note of that. So let's say with my square, they just give me a measurement on one side of five centimeters. Is that a problem? No, it's not. Because if we remember, a square has what? Equal sides all around. Which means if one is five, the other is going to be five, the other is going to be five. All of them are going to be five. And then what do we do? We simply add it up and we end up with 20 centimeters as our perimeter. That's the length all the way around. And they usually ask this in terms of a scenario where they're looking at um, fencing, you know, or gates or things like that all around a particular property. Tip for that. Then, here we have a rectangle. What do we remember about a rectangle? The opposite sides are equal, right? They are parallel. That's why it's drawn like that. So if they give me this, 5 and 3, what does that mean? It means this side is also equal to 5, and I'm just going to say centimeters, and this one is going to be 3 centimeters. Now that's all well and good, and I, I can add that up and I can say, okay, that's 10, that's 6, so I'm looking at 16 centimeters in total but what happens especially grade 11s when you end up with a shape like this again forgive my drawing when we look at this there are actually a number of shapes that are in this shape let's look if i chop this through here what do i end up with on this side i end up with a triangle if i do the same over here I'm left with a semicircle, basically half a circle. And then in the middle, what am I left with? A rectangle. Can you see where we're going? All right? So now what we have to do is we have to work out the perimeter of all three and then add them up. And again, they will give you the measurements to do that. Just also take note of the fact that when it comes to a circle, and we want to work out the perimeter. We are talking now with a circle about the circumference. Okay. And in order to do that, what do we do? We are going to use pi times the diameter. Do we have the diameter? Yes, we do. If this was, I'm just going to say five centimeters. I like this five centimeters. Is that the diameter? Well, I would say yes, but how do I know that? How can I prove that? Well, if I finish my circle, what am I left with? There is my diameter. So pi times my diameter, that will give me the circumference of the entire circle. Do I want that? Yes and no. Yes and no. Why? Because I have to take that number, and that's why I'm saying yes, but I have to divide it by two in order to get half the circle. Okay, so my answer here, I'm going to divide by two to get this measurement over here. So let's say that measurement is 8 centimeters, just as an example. And I know this is, let's say, this is going to be 6 centimeters. And then I also need to calculate whatever's missing on my triangle. And please remember, when it comes to this, we are now, if need be, we are now going to use our Pythagoras formula. And remember, when I want to calculate the hypotenuse or the longest side, I'm going to add. So when I've got, when I'm looking for this one, the longest side, and I go a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Or if I'm looking for one of the shorter sides, I'm going to subtract. So I might go a squared equals b squared minus c squared. Once I've done that and I've worked out all those measurements, I'm going to add all of that together. And that's how I get my perimeter.